Hello everyone, this is Harry from the IRS Communication. Today I want to show you how you can install Windows 7 in a notebook. As you see, this is a Sun Inspire one. As all we know that the notebook doesn't have the CD driver. Okay, for doing or for installing a Windows, it could be Windows Vista, Windows XP, Windows 7. Okay, we need a pen drive you see this is a pen drive this is 8 giga a data traveler it is not a common pen drive I make this pen drive as a flash drive for make a pen drive as a flash drive you need to check at the internet okay first what we need to do we have to copy all the Windows 7 or Windows Vista software into this pen drive and it should have to auto detect when I pen, uh, when I connect with the notebook okay I will put all the Windows 7 software in this but before doing all this process back up all your data at your notebook put the CD of Windows 7 into your CD-ROM and you click to my computer. here is the Windows 7 the CD of Windows 7 don't click and open click the right button of the mouse and open as a folder view select all Click, click the right button of the mouse copy close this go again to my computer here is my pen drive open this and paste all as it is okay here is the pen drive with windows 7 inside we'll connect this pen drive at USB port okay. after connecting we have to restart the PC if the pen drive is not detect automatically we have to go to the wires I restart the notebook it is an it is a Spanish window Windows 7 ultimate and it's restarting we have to wait a little for this so inspire no is not detect so we have to go at the files for reconfigure okay after clicking Dell or F2 I am at the bias now I have to change the bias setting or configuration I have to go at booth click at the booth and we have to choose which one we want to boot first use the arrow key or go this side or this side right and left up and down select this one and after press F5 F5 is go down F6 press F6 is go up and now the Kingston Data Traveler is the first boot and after doing this click F10 and it will ask you that you want to save the change before exit or not you have to click Y is is selected and yes so click at enter and wait for the boot we're waiting for the boot yes so the installation is beginning and we have to wait a little because the notebooks are a little slow 
it has one giga ram inside but it's pretty slow it has hard disk 330 its atom is intel atom 1.66 gigahertz okay the windows is starting this is multilingual window there is three language but I choose the Spanish it's the same process if you choose English the command will be in English if you choose the Spanish the command will be Spanish and all window will be in Spanish I choose the Spanish I have to go next install now setup is starting now here is some agreement you have to make with the Microsoft for installing this window click accept click next if you want to upgrade your old window with new one you can click here for upgrade or if you want if you want a new installation click here I prefer new installation so I will click here here is my drives at the PC I have I have to choose in which one I want to install the new version this one I choose but before doing this I have to clean the drive if I not do the old window and new window clash with one another and make all bad and the window will not open your PC will not open or your notebook will not open click here drive option advance and format simply format the drive you want to install the new window okay if you have any data at your dad drive or anything please back up in pen drive or any any another PC do that before doing all this okay this is formatted now it's all free as you see 74.4 gigabyte is free here now the drive is selected we just need to click next and the installation is begin it's copying windows file now expanding windows file zero person uh, when it will come something new I will come back because it will take 10 to 15 minutes or it depend on your notebook how speed it is how much RAM it has it depend on that so you have to wait I come again because it show that the windows is opening for the first time after doing this it will show you this something as this complete completing the installation it is the last process you have to wait little more so I will be back again it is restarting now due to the process of restarting you should make it out the pen drive if you not do it will go again to the installation from the beginning I'm waiting now and it said the windows is starting for the first time it's saying in Spanish but in your version in English one it will say in English or in another it will say that as your language it asks you a name this will be the name of the PC so I will put a name Mario for example the PC would be Mario PC after that you're sure or next button click here the next it will ask you a password if you want put a password you can put if you don't want leave as it is put next click next it will ask you the code of the windows 
you can download that code from the Microsoft you have to buy the code if you don't want to buy there is another way okay but at this moment if you not put the code is not necessary at this moment you will have the window for the 30 days in trail for 30 days here you have to click this option and after that click next it will ask you the configuration is recommended choose the first one click choose the time the place you live or the time zone in which you in which your city is as I live in Buenos Aires I will search for the Buenos Aires here is Buenos Aires I click Buenos Aires I click next it asks me the Wi-Fi that I have I have the Wi-Fi I select this signal it asks me the password I will type the password okay my router at home I have 4 PC and to make a home network by this as you want I say no it is starting in Spanish is writing welcome Windows 7 home premium okay let's begin some configuration we have to wait a little more okay as you see it's come the window and it's done we have the Wi-Fi signal the internet it's asking for the permission for go to the internet and download the upgrades you can download the upgrades and all that as I as I told you this is trail version click at my computer go to the properties here it says 30 days train please activate you have to go to the microsoft and activate there is some another way ok thank you so much for watching i hope this will help you to install a window if you face any difficulty for installing any window you can write me some comment and you can ask me the help and for more go and check www.iriscommunication.com and thank you again. Good night. Ciao.